Hi everyone, this is Elisa from Anaya's Tree Box Crochet and I'm here to tell you what I've been up to. Thank you so much for coming. I do love showing off my makes and I love, love, love that you come week after week to see them. Um, you can find me on social media as Anaya's Toy Box. I am on Etsy, on uh, Instagram, on Ravelry, and on Facebook. All right, so what have I been up to? My camera is very far away from me. <laughs> At least it feels very far away from me because this tripod keeps sinking. So to keep me on frame properly, I have it far. Uh, so, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with it. Anyways, um, what have I been up to? It hasn't been quite a week. Uh, I, I did want to film on Sunday, but I really had very little to show you because I didn't, from Wednesday to Sunday, while I did do stuff, I just, I don't know. I didn't film on Sunday. Uh, so today is Tuesday. I'm filming on Tuesday. This is probably going to be my last time I'm recording while I am still here at my parents house. I will be going back to uh, New York this weekend and so the next time you see me I'll be in New York. So yeah, what have I been up to? I've done it. Remember how I said that one time when all I had to show was whips? Wouldn't it be cool if all I had to do, all I have to had to show was FOs? Well, I did it. All I have to show is FOs. Um, and I'm gonna start with the first one, which I showed you a little bit last time. This is the Blue Phone Studios, Timothy the T-Rex. He is done. I finished him. Uh, I'm not sure that I, I don't like the way I sewed the tail in. I made a mistake. I sewed the tail in before I sewed the legs in and I should have waited to put the legs and then the tail because now it sits like you can't see it so much on my hand but it's really angled uh, if I had put the tail lower when it stands it wouldn't be standing so angled but it is what it is um, undoing it getting other yarn because I cut the yarn to fix it and everything it's a lot of trouble it'll take quite a while so I just decided to keep it like this uh, anyways here it is, Timothy the T-Rex. All right, my second FO, or my second and third FO, is the bags. Ah. So I made this bag for my son because, you know, I can't make something for my son without my, my daughter without my son asking, where is mine? So he wanted one with turtle fabric, and I did look, I didn't look a lot but I did look for turtle fabric and I didn't find anything so he had to have this watermelon fabric and so I made his more like a backpack I put two tabs the tabs are not even uh, I could have done a better job placing them because one of them is lower than the other I got this string from Dollarama and oh here's a little bit of thread here and basically it goes like this and he could swing it on his back and have it I did make it a box bottom um, here it is and I have no idea what he's gonna do with it but you know I'm making bags so he might as well have one so that's a watermelon bag which by the way the strawberry shortcake now is almost over I thought I wasn't gonna be able to enter because I didn't bring anything that was strawberry shortcake esque and now I'm like looking at my stuff and I'm like "Ooh, I could enter this I could enter my lemon bag and I could even enter the shawl I made, the the one I started when I was uh, traveling to Eastern Canada, because that does kind of look like strawberries and cream. So I do have some stuff to enter, so I'm gonna have to take a picture of this and enter it. But anyways, that's my first bag, and this is my second bag. I fell in love with this fabric last year, and I bought it, there was only one of it in Walmart, and basically it was this big. It's a really weird shape. I hope I can use it. Um, Anyways, I still have to get the drawstring. I don't have a drawstring for that. So at some point I'll be going to Dollarama to make it. It's got a box bottom. Um, I do wish, you know what I did? I don't know what was going on in my head when I cut the fabric. I went to Walmart and found that, hey, they still have this fabric because when I bought it initially last year, they only had one of them. And they still only had one of them, but I already have one. So one and one would make two and then I could make a not so tall but more proportionally proportionate uh project bag 
and for some reason when I cut it I just used one and I don't know why I don't know what was going on in my head but I do love the fabric and I am happy with it kind of yeah I am happy with it I think all the big skeins will go into this uh, you know you know like the yeah, premier basics and stuff um, it looks good I like it I love the fabric I really love it I love the poppies and the watercolor I used to paint so it appeals to me a lot and I love flowers I've always loved flowers so um, this is probably gonna be the last bag I'm gonna be making for a while uh, I don't see myself um, having time up in the next few days to make anything any sewing projects and once I leave I lose access to the sewing machine so <laughs> this is probably the last bag I'll be making until I come back so anyways here it is those are two FO's right there this doesn't have the string yet because I need to purchase it otherwise it would have had that all right so the next one I'm going to show you is it was a whip last time and now it is an FO let me show it to you properly here it is this is the Despina shawl and I love it I love the way it turned out now I used a thicker yarn than the pattern calls for the pattern calls for uh, fingering weight yarn and I used a three weight yarn uh, DK I just this is what I had and I made it and I used a J hook which is a six millimeter hook and I love the way it turned out it is huge and it was supposed to have a hundred and three rows and I didn't make it to a hundred and three I made it to probably 92 let me see where is it uh, 92 93 I made it to 94 rows so not even a hundred you know this border right here was supposed to be just as big as the one down here but uh, I ran out of yarn and I thought about it what should I do what should I do and I realized you know what it is such a big shawl this is like more than my wingspan a little bit more than my wingspan which is like five four I usually not that I'm gonna keep this but I usually wrap my uh, shawls around my neck like this and look it goes to the bottom of my dress here it is very big um, so oops I sat on him so it doesn't really need more like a few more rows it would finish the pattern up beautifully I would have liked that uh, but it's big enough I'm not I think I have more of this yarn in New York so I mean I could possibly just take it home with me and finish it up there add the net few rows but it is already so big I don't think I'm going to anyways there's the shawl I finished it and I like it and Oh, here is where I was. Let me take this off. Eesh, <laughs> it's hard when you don't have like a big couch to like just spread everything out on. But anyways, um, this is a asymmetrical shawl that starts here and ends here. And where's my stitch marker? That stitch marker right there. Right there is where I was last Wednesday when I filmed and I showed it to you so this is how much I finished and it's done and the reason why I only have FOs is because um, I did commit myself to sticking to the projects that I am working on instead of starting new ones um, so that's what I did but I couldn't help starting a new and groomy and that's this guy uh, I forget what his name is and I think, it, I think it's Marisa, but I'm not sure. I will put up the designer and the link on where to get it um, in the description down below. But I made him. This is, I won Amigurumi Wars uh, June. So in June, Leslie of the Corn uh, hosted Amigurumi Wars and she, I won. I got a $25 gift card to Etsy and I bought five patterns five at one go I am a little nervous about being able to finish all of those because 
If you don't know, I have committed that if I buy a pattern, I work it up right away. I am not going to stash patterns anymore. So in that effort, I started one and I did this little bear and I think he's so adorable. Uh, hi, sweetheart. With the, the money that I got or the gift card, I bought uh, stuff that I've been eyeing for a while. So look, he's got a little tail. Um, I, I bought patterns that I've been eyeing for a while and this is one of them. I've been looking at it and I'm like, oh, it's so cute. When I get a time, I think I'll get it. And I got it and I made him and here he is. Uh, I forget his name. I forget everything about the pattern for some reason. Lisa. Anyways, it'll be linked down below you'll be able to see it and that is the first of the five patterns that I bought with my winnings from Amigurumi Words. Uh, anyway, I love him. I think he's so cute. Uh, she did like the designer did embroider um, eyebrows and stuff but I don't have all my stuff with me and I can do it with worsted weight yarn but I think it'll be too thick and make him look angry. Um, so I'm not going to do it. This is not going to make it back with me to New York. I have somebody in mind to gift it to, so it's going to go to him. And he is done. I loved making him. He is adorable and he's a fun make. And he's probably, I might make one more. I have very little stuffing left. So I might make one more amigurumi while I'm here, but chances are I won't be making too many because I'm out of, well, not out, but I have very little stuffing left. And I'm now going to buy a few days before I'm planning to leave where I have stuffing at home. So um, this is it. So that is what I've been up to. Um, just defos this, this video, which is pretty cool. Bye. And I will be starting some new pro Bye, sweetheart. I will be starting. Oh, I did adjust this pattern. I did it as as shown, I didn't change anything, but I did adjust the pattern so that I crocheted on the arms and the legs instead of sewing it on. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the only changes I made. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm going to start new uh, projects right now because I ain't got anything to work with. Not a single project right now. And so uh, I'm going to start some new ones. You'll see some brand new ones when I get home. And if I end up finishing anything before I go, and giving it away, I'll be sure to take pictures. But anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please subscribe.